What does Christmas mean to you? Family. How about you? Happiness and joy. We've got all that and then some today on The Express. On today's show, the Christmas tree here. Traditions with a twist on Lowheat Town Center's spirit of Christmas. Quality Assured Collision Road Trip and Vancouver Island's Light Up Capital. It's given the community huge, huge pride. Maple toffee on snow, a great tradition. What's on the menu at Gastown's new Christmas culinary tour? Grand Fondo is to cycling what the sun run is to running. How to get involved in one of BC's biggest cycling events. It's an unbelievable sense of accomplishment to, to finish something like that. See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express, only on Shaw TV. I'm Johanna Ward. Today we're at Heritage Woods Secondary in Port Moody for their annual Seniors Christmas Tea. The choir is singing. There are Santa hats everywhere. It's a chance for the youth to connect with the community and give back. Tis the season, right? And up first on today's show, we've got a new Christmas culinary adventure, one that we're tagging along with in Gastown. <laughs> Gastown. It's one of the must-see tourist destinations in the city of Vancouver. Rich with history, high in energy, and home to a big food scene. But how much do we locals know about this cobblestone community? Did you know the Gastown bricks are from China? Bet you didn't know that. The tour meets at Starbucks, where you get your first taste teaser, your audio packs. I'm ready, and I got audio. And an introduction to the famous tour guide. We're off to Gastown. Sounds fun. Let's have some food and some fun. The tour is led by none other than Gassy Jack. That's right, Captain John Dayton, Vancouver's first settler, who earned the Gassy nickname for talking a lot. Now, this is the world famous steam clock. It was built by Ray Saunders in the 1970s. If anyone knows the ins and outs of the history of Gastown, it's him. Welcome to Steamworks. A great microbrewery pub and my good friend Conrad here is going to tell us about how they make beer. All the beer that we make in our brewery is uh, served in-house and uh, I'm standing in front of our kettle right now which is fired by steam uh, that comes from the same steam main that powers the uh, steam clock just down the road. So there's a big reason to have Steamworks on the tour and here's another one. Cheers! Cheers. Ah, this is a fine nut brown ale. Pretty nice way to learn about history, hey? And this is just one stop of ten. Now, I want to take you in a place called Maple Delight, where they, they actually make maple toffee on snow, a great tradition here in Canada. So maple toffee is made out of pure maple syrup. There's nothing but maple in there, so it's actually good for you. A lot of people don't know it, but maple syrup is actually a great source of antioxidants. It's also a source of potassium and magnesium. And a source of a pretty sweet sugar high. Next up, a search for something savory with some tourist-worthy tidbits in between. Well, now in 1886, all of Gastown burned down in 40 minutes, but the only building that survived was this one, and that's our next stop. Welcome to the Water Street Cafe. We've been here since July of 1988. This is our 23rd year. What you're eating today are West Coast crab cakes. It's been a staple on the menu since the day we opened, and it's still one of the best sellers. Another piece of Gastown history, one that disappears from the tray to the tummy. Well, the stories remain for the next group taking the tour. All the ships came from Asia bringing tea and spice, and they were light, so they had to put bricks in the ballast. And when they got over here, they just threw all the bricks on the shore. So when the fire burnt Gastown down, they used all those bricks to build old Gastown. I hope you've enjoyed my Gastown food tour, all that stops, you're well fed. Well, thanks for coming, and it was my pleasure. In Gastown, I'm Johanna Ward for The Express. The website is tastevancouverfoodtours.com to sign up for a Christmas culinary event. They run from 2 to 4 on Thursdays and Saturdays. And one of the stops serves a lobster mac and cheese. Delish. Then you can top it off with some tea and cookies here, the Heritage Woods Secondary Annual Seniors Christmas Tea. And then work it off with our next story on one of BC's biggest cycling events. The best cycling is here in the Fraser Valley of BC. It's quite possibly Jeffrey Hansen Carlson's favorite biking route. Kilometers and kilometers of scenic farmland and historic river valleys amidst towering mountains. We've got challenging climbs, we've got fast descents, we've got technical roads, we've got wide open straightaways, 
And what makes it pristine is that it's all on quiet backcountry roads. And that's why this area is the ideal location for one of Canada's premier cycling events, the Prospera Valley Grand Fondo. And I like to say that the Grand Fondo is to cycling what the Sun Run is to running. It's about cyclists of all ages and ability levels getting together and going on a big bike ride. The term Grand Fondo means long distance in Italian. In Europe, cyclosportive events are hugely popular. Races like Le Tape de Tour in France draw over 8,000 participants and millions of spectators every year. Though it's not quite as big, more than 1,500 people are expected to strap on their helmets and gloves for this Grand Fondo, but it won't be easy. The route stretches 160 kilometers from historic Fort Langley to Abbotsford and back, and they do it all in one day. The route is challenging, the route is long, there are some challenging climbs, technical roads, it's not an easy route. But with the proper training and preparation, Jeffrey says anyone can do it. Take David Bickle, who's only been cycling competitively for two years. Whether you're a racer or a recreational uh, rider, it's, it's, it's an unbelievable sense of accomplishment to, to finish something like that. Funds raised through the Grand Fonda will go toward the Special Olympics. The hope is this event will help inspire athletes of all abilities to go farther and reach higher. What, what they do connects with what we do and we could not be more excited to have them as our charitable partner. The big race takes place on July 22, 2012. I'm Tim Chung in Fort Langley for The Express. Riders of all levels can join in the fun because they have 80K routes and 3K routes. The website is valleygrandfondo.com. You're watching The Express and we have more from Heritage Woods Secondary and their annual seniors Christmas tea, plus these stories coming up. Lohi Town Center's Spirit of Christmas on tried and true traditions. Ladysmith is famous for, for the lights now. Quality Assured Collision Road Trip visits Vancouver Island's Light Up Capital. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.